Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Rideshare Stories. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for different things within the rideshare industry, whether it's news, tips and tricks for passengers and drivers, or what actually happens on Real Rideshare Rides, start now by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Also make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. So on this channel, we talk a lot about what the TOS is between Uber and Lyft and how to stay in line with the rules, even when passengers are trying to get you to break those rules, whether it be trying to take somebody who's under 18, like an unaccompanied minor, and that's against the rules, whether it's uh, in a child in need of a car seat and you don't have a car seat and they're trying to get you to uh, take them and they don't have a car seat either. Also, if they are uh, having too many people in the car and trying to get uh, five people instead of four or nine people instead of six, whatever it might be, uh, where they're trying to fit too many passengers in the car, whatever they're trying to do, uh, we always try to cover the rules so you know what to expect and then also give you some real world examples of how people are handling it so you know how to handle it as well too. Well, here's a couple of tips that uh, you can actually do today, right now if you wanted, on your own profile to help convey those rules and those messages to potential riders that you may be giving a ride to. So if more drivers put this into their uh, profile and people see this, then they're going to probably start thinking twice about trying to all these things, whether it's too many people, whether it's unaccompanied minors, children without car seats, all that stuff can start dwindling down. Not only on top of it, uh, where we deny those rides, but also, like I said, where we can upfront them before they even get in the car. So here you see right now is uh, John, who is also Rideshare Trickster, which is a great YouTube channel. If you haven't checked him out, highly recommend going over there, giving him a subscription, uh, ring the bell for notifications, and uh, see some of his content because he's got some really good stuff. But as you can see right here, this is his uh, Uber profile. And right in the short description, it says no car seat, no ride. And then I like how I put former LA County medic there, which kind of just puts a little bit more icing on the cake. Now we all can't put uh, LA County medic or former LA County medic there, but you can put something like no car seat, no ride. Then if you look down a little bit further, it says four passengers max, cancellation fees will be charged. So he's saying that you can only have four people when you order the ride. Now, yes, I understand a lot of people are going to not even pay attention because they already order a Uber X ride when they have five or six people and try to fit people in, but it puts it right there. So if people see that, and yeah, people will check the profile, they might actually cancel the ride, and then he doesn't have to waste his time going there, or there will be a cancellation fee, and it's put out there as plain as day. Now here's John's Lyft profile, where it's a little bit different, and you can see how it's set up, but under the notes there, it says, no car seat, no ride, please cancel. You will be charged cancellation fee, and four passengers max, former medic and NHR, uh, NHRA driver. So right there you can see, again, no car seats, no ride, and only four people max, because that's what his car can handle. So you can put these things into your own profiles, and you can set it up similar to what he has it here, where you can put no children or no unaccompanied minors, uh, no car seat, no ride, uh, too many passengers, no ride, cancellation fee, whatever you want to do to make people aware that you will not take those rides. If they see it, they're going to cancel it. Or if they don't see it and you get there anyway, you get your cancellation fee. Now I do know a lot of people who are doing this and putting it into their profiles and hopefully more and more people will start doing that in terms of laying out the rules because unfortunately Uber and Lyft doesn't enforce anything. They just put these rules on paper and choose to enforce them when it's convenient or necessary for them, not for you as a driver, not for you as a passenger. And unfortunately, that creates a major disconnect between passengers and drivers, where yes, when you see a passenger who says, well, the last driver may let me do it, we've all heard that one before when we cancel on a ride or not allow them to do a certain thing. Well, they know it's wrong and they also know that they've probably gotten away with it 
previously from another driver who did allow it. So there are drivers out there who do allow five, p uh, five passengers when your car only has enough seatbelts for four. Same thing when it comes to uh, taking unaccompanied minors. You'll see drivers picking up at high schools all the time, even uh, elementary schools. Uh, and unfortunately, there's no adult there whatsoever. So these things do need to stop. And unfortunately, it's going to be up to us drivers to enforce these rules and actually make them uh, understand that no, there is no children under 18 allowed in a car without somebody who's at least 18 years or older. No, no car seat, no ride. If a child needs a car seat, we shouldn't be caring more for your children than you are. I get it. Child seats can be a very big, cumbersome uh, thing to carry, but it's the law, and they're there to protect your children, not there to make it inconvenience for you. If you can't take your car seat, there's other forms of public transportation that you can take where you can get your child on there okay, like buses. These rules are in place for your safety, your protection, and as well as the passenger safety and protection. So make sure you do follow them. If you wanna put these uh, tips into your profile so people will know or see them uh, plain as day right there, then go, go ahead and do that so more people will see it and hopefully it will start turning that tide. Now, how many people out here have already put something into their profile like what John had? Comment below, let me know what you put in for your profile. And if you haven't changed your profile yet, but you're thinking about it, tell me what you put in there when you do change it, because I'd love to hear as well. And I just want to give a special thank you to John, also known as Rideshare Trickster in the YouTube world, for giving me those screenshots. And if you haven't checked out his channel yet, make sure to check it out. There's a link right up here, and it'll also be in the description below, so you can go check it out. He's got a unique perspective being a former medic, and he will give you a lot of insight in terms of different things that are going on in the world, especially right now with what's going on. Also, how um, you know children act when they don't have car seats, like what happens in an accident, things like that. So he's got great perspective on that. So go check his channel out. And thank you again, John, for letting me use those screenshots. Now, that's the end of today's video. Make sure you stay safe out there and follow those rules with the TOS. It's there to protect you as a driver so nothing can fall back on you. So be safe out there. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. And as always, never drink and drive, always tip your drivers, and we'll see you next time.